Hello and welcome to your Martin Maths. We're doing the Higher Maths GCC papers of 2023. <clears throat> and this is question 23 about certs. So we have 3 root 3 over 4 minus root 3 minus 2 over root 3. And we have to put it into the form a root 3 plus b over c. And the main point to see here is that that is a rational denominator. There are no certs. So what we need to do is rationalize the denominator. So to do that, uh, in each case, I'm going to multiply 3 root 3 over 4 minus root 3 by what kind of its conjugate, changing the sign of that third. But I must make sure that the numerator is also multiplied, so that I multiply it in effect by 1. Anything over itself is 1. A over A is 1. So I'm not changing anything uh, if I'm multiplying it by 1. Do the same thing here. I'm going to multiply that by root 3 over root 3. Okay, so I'm, but I want to change the sign here so that the middle terms are going to cancel. If you know about difference of two squares, it's a very similar thing here. And those who go on to take further maths will see a thing called a complex conjugate. Okay, so now I'm going to have 3 root 3 times 4 plus root 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 is going to cancel. I'm left with minus root 3 squared. I'll leave that step in there just to show you. Um, and here, 2 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 is 3. Okay? So now I'm going to have 12 root 3 plus 3 times root 3 squared. Root 3 squared is 3. 16 minus 3 is 13. Still got the 2 root 3 over 3. We're going to combine those fractions later. So we're going to have 12 root 3 plus 9 over 13 minus 2 root 3 over 3. I need a lowest common denominator to find equivalent fractions. This is where our earlier work on fractions is useful. And the lowest common denominator is going to be 39. So I've multiplied this by 3. So I'm going to have 36, oh, sorry, 36 root 3 plus 27 minus this times by 13 now, 26 root 3. That 27 is going to stay the same, but 36 minus 26 is going to be 10 root 3 plus 27 all over 39 where I now have an A, which is wanted to be 10, a B to be 27, and a C to be 39, all of which uh, are rational integers, uh, as expected in the question. So 10, root 3, plus 27, all over 39. So just to quickly go over that again, I multiply by a term that is in effect 1, that through the expanding of those brackets, if you're not sure, 4 plus root 3, I'll do that here quickly, 4 minus root 3, 16 minus 4 root 3, plus 4 root 3, minus root 3 root 3, those terms cancel, and I get 16 minus 3, because that is root 3 squared, which is 3, and I get 13. Okay, so that's that step there, and that's how the denominator clears up. And then the numerator, 4 times 3 is 12. Keep that root 3. Uh, but the 3 times root 3 times root 3 is going to give me 3 times root 3 squared. As we said, root 3 squared is 3. So that's 3 times 3, which is 9. Here I've multiplied by root 3 over root 3 to get 3. And it all simplifies to that. Okay, that's a four mark question. Again, aiming for four minutes. Just gone over that in that extra explanation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And good luck to those writing exams.